Hello everyone. Today we're gonna see using PROC SQL how can we find the second maximum value in the whole data and the second point is find second maximum value for each of the group. Trust me this is a very common question asked in advanced SAS interviews right and today I'm going to explain these in a very simplest way once you learn this you're gonna crack the interview for this particular question at least and if you can solve this particular question i'm damn sure you're gonna solve many other questions so let's start with in this particular video first i'm going to start with finding second maximum value for each of the group which is the second one because the first one is pretty simple so let's look in the second one to achieve this we gonna take three steps first one is okay before we reach to these steps let's try to understand this problem statement first how this problem statement works so this is your particular data right and the group which we which we are mentioning is city so if you see there are four cities okay now what you need to find is these values if you see these are not the maximum value for each of the city these are the second maximum value for each of the city so once you found that we want you to populate this kind of summary for delhi this is the second maximum amount for gurgaon this is the second maximum amount these are the metro cities in india now how can we do this so there are three simple steps first one is the find the maximum value for each of the group what does that mean this is your data right and these are the cities which you have so you're gonna look for the maximum amount yes right if you see for the maximum amount these are the maximum amount and when you summarize that it's gonna be this now what is the second step second step is simply omit this found maximum amount so once you remove this maximum amount what is left the remaining one will be the second maximum amount as simple as that right so the most maximum amount is removed so whatever is left out in that whatever maximum amount is available that's gonna be your second maximum amount so the third step is find the maximum value in available data again so here is that maximum value and then you can populate this kind of summary so it's pretty simple to summarize that three steps which are find the maximum value for each of the group that's the first step then second omit the found maximum value for each of the group then the third one is find the maximum value in the remaining data let's jump to this as and see how can we do this so here before i start i would just like you to have a look on the data so here we have this data first thing which we discuss is finding the maximum value in this particular data right so we're gonna write proc sql and quit so here i have a very small size of data in your case if you are doing on your practical data day-to-day -day job data then data data set might be used so over there i would recommend you to use create table statement so that you would have the data stored in a table right but here my data size is very small so i'm not going to create a separate table i will simply print that yes the other thing is before we proceed further with this particular statement it is very important that you should have basic understanding of joins in sql now without wasting the time let's start select city comma max of tran amount tran amount from i have that data in sorry oops from la library dot diwali the data set name is diwali spins okay and then we're gonna say group by group by one what do you think is this going to work it's pretty simple but let's see if this gives any error who oh, we just worked it just worked so here you have the first maximum amount available now the next thing which i said is omitting this particular one so how are you gonna omit this so you if you are familiar with sql you might have learned 
inner join right so when you do the inner join what happens is if you have not learned the inner join i strongly recommend you to watch out this video for which the link is showing at upper right corner somewhere here and we are also providing that link into the description section check that out okay now so in inner join what we what happens is wherever it finds the match in both of the data sets it just gives you that in the result right so here we're gonna do the opposite we're gonna use the inner join but we want to remove wherever it finds the match not to result the not to populate in the result right so let's do that select city and comma tran amount okay and here I'm just going to say as first max amount. All right, so that it doesn't create the confusion. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this from from la dot Diwali spins, and this table is a. And then we're gonna say this particular table as table B and we're gonna say here inner join inner join all right and over here we're gonna say on a dot city I just missed to define it as B okay a dot city equals to B dot city so we here we are saying join on each of the city wherever it founds, finds the match on cities but we want it to eliminate or, or maybe pick only those amount where a dot tran amount is not equals to b dot first max amount okay so what do you think is it going to work let's see that so this is the second step where we are trying to omit the first highest amount okay let's run this particular thing oh it just threw an error let's see what is the error ambiguous reference column city is in more than one table so what we're gonna do is here it says that city is available over here also and here also which one you want to see in the result so I want to see the city from first table only okay the outer table rather I can say now if you notice over here the first maximum amount is gone because previously we had four entries now we have only three entries now the third step you need to take without wasting any time and that her uh, that third step is just summarize this particular data right so if you want you can summarize it you can create you can store this data in a separate table and then you can summarize that using the max function right but here I'm just going to apply the same uh, that thing over this only okay so all that you need to do is just say select city comma what is that that's max of tran amount which is as second max amount right and i'm going to say from and this entire patch which I had created previously, I'm going to put this all in a bracket, okay? Here. And I'm just going to say group by one. Boom. So this entire data which we created where we have removed the first maximum amount, right? So that is removed. And then whatever is remaining, we are just going to find maximum into that. So let's run this and then execute this. Ooh, now here you have your final outcome achieved. So I just hope that it was pretty clear to you just in case if you have any doubt put that into the comment section. And this is very simple. Usually in the interview they don't ask, uh, they don't ask basis on the group, they ask it on overall level right but here i explained you the more difficult one which is by group finding the maximum value by group now what comes next the next comes is you gonna find the second maximum value in whole data not by the group in the overall data i just want you to give the second maximum amount 
for that you don't need to put much effort just put little bit of your mind and little bit of your time you're gonna find that and that you have to find in whole data so in output you're gonna have just one entry not many until then happy learning all the best just put that uh, just solve this particular problem and put this in text in comment section i'm definitely going to check that out once again all the best